it's so easy to just spit on this container and find out later whether or not you have COVID-19. The Philippine Red Cross is doing saliva testing on a thousand individuals. The last step before the health department gives them a go signal to do it regularly. Compared with the usual RT-PCR swab test, this is less invasive, but you can't eat, drink, gargle, or smoke 30 minutes before the saliva collection. Then using a straw, just gather up to 2 milliliters of saliva. Results will be out in 3 to 4 hours, faster than the RT-PCR swab test, usual 12 to 24 hour turnaround time. Less materials and manpower are needed. That's why it only costs 2,000 pesos compared to a 4,000 peso swab test. Yung ginagamit po nating uh, indicator is concordance. If the results of the saliva is the same as the results of the swab. So 95% of the time, pareho. Red Cross Chairman and Senator Richard Gordon says it's a more comfortable testing for the elderly. Uh, we even saw a baby tested earlier. He adds, having this option is timely now that more people are getting tested. Yesterday, we tested the... Uh, 10,000, if I'm not mistaken. The other day, 9,000. We have to watch out for it because of the translation. And then there is the new strain. So, we need to be the testing. But Dr. Michael T. clarifies saliva test can substitute but not replace a swab test. Much like the other types of test, it has a specific use. Also, the Red Cross study only looked at using a specific machine, Sanshur from China. Different machines, different reagents might need a different validation study. Most of the samples will come from health workers from 15 different hospitals in Metro Manila since they are more exposed to the virus. After that, we'll know the results if it's a go. Carolyn Bonkin, CNN Philippines.